Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video with Dini Shalom. We are talking about this guy. I'm sure everybody know who Wodemaya is, especially every African YouTuber. If you don't know who Wodemaya is, please leave it down in the comments. Actually, he's someone that has been a YouTuber for like maybe five or six years now for a while and he started his YouTube channel when he was studying in China. So recently he has been making serious ways on the internet like when he came to Nigeria, the buzz that he gave, every country he goes to there's no how you will not know that Wodemaya is around and he has been winning like sponsorship deals everywhere like real estate and so much more but the highest and the highest and the highest of the award of being an African is what, in fact, to me, I don't, I don't know what else could beat what he just achieved presently. Earlier this year, he worked with uh, Ethiopian Airways, Ethiopian Airline. You know how big that is. Then another time this year too, he was recognized by the CEO of YouTube, Susan. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that name. As if that what was not enough. South African tourism, they flew him out to Johannesburg to do, go and do maybe documentary on tourism in South Africa and all that. Paid one. I'm sure all expenses must be paid. Now, presently now, the one I'm going to be talking about is, we don't know there are prominent ways that once you see your name on those kind of things, just know that you are made for life, like you are set for life. Example is Time Magazine, Life Magazine, Forbes Magazine. Now imagine... Or oh, and Vogue, yes, there's also Vogue. If your name happened to make maybe one page, even if there's a line that your name could just enter inside one of those magazines, just know that you're making waves anywhere in any sector that you are. So an example is this Forbes magazine. So a post on Instagram, I think that's his last post for now. That Wodemaya has been appointed to be on the cover. Hey, away, away, hey. <laughs> It's not a small accomplishment, oh guys. I was selected to be on the cover of Forbes Africa magazine. Eh? When I saw it, I was like, hey, Vodemaya is someone that has been so inspirational to me and to all, some other small YouTubers. He has been so motivational. He has lifted so many YouTubers that I can't even count. Once he appears on your channel or once he sent his armies, his subscribers to come and subscribe to your channel, just know that on YouTube, you're set on something like that. It is around everybody who wants to collaborate with him. Everybody who wants to do content with him. Like on the continent of Africa, we now see what Forbes magazine did. They wrote the story of how he started. They were even comparing him with uh, Mr. Beast. They told the story of how he started YouTube channel. His real name, if you don't know, his real name is not Wodemaya. In fact, Wodemaya means maybe my mother or something like that. Falls Magazine, they broke it down. I started even to the point of what is earning you monthly on YouTube. They said it. I'm going to be reading it out. I'm going to be showing you the post. Mm. The front page of the Falls Magazine has... Please don't mind my phone. It's broken, kind of. But let me just show you. As this woman here... I don't know if you know her. Is a... Five-time Grammy Award winner Angelique Kijo. Less. So then at the back. So this is the front of the magazine. Oh, I wish. Yes, I wish you can just see Forbes magazine Africa. Then look at. Can you see? Hi. Can you see? Oh no, I wanted to show like. Can you see? Hey, your annoying village boy is on. Is on Forbes magazine. I don't know what achievement that can be. Now look at what they wrote here. Like, look at this post, this whole post, like this, like a, a history of his life, what is any, how he's doing it, and stuff like that. I'm just going to be reading like a little because I don't want this video to be too long. Imagine what Wodemaya said he was he is any every month on YouTube. Hey, please, if you're on YouTube, don't quit your dreams, okay? Don't even, if you're struggling today, you don't know how you can, how you can just blow tomorrow. And because example of it has happened to me, I've not really blown, I've not blown, oh God, help me. But this time, three months ago, I was less than 1,000 subscribers. Honestly, that's just a simple, honest truth. So anything can happen on YouTube at any time. Let me just read it immediately so that we will not have to waste our time. I was telling you that they were comparing with... Mr. Beast of America, hmm. they said at the age of 23 years old, American YouTuber, megastar, Jimmy, known as Mr. Beast, 
YouTube channel. Let me enlarge it so that I can see very well. So, uh, stuff, stuff, stuff like that. So, they said on African continent, the person that is making waves like that is uh, is Wodemaya. They said his real name is Kobina Achkon, popularly known by the moniker Wodemaya. is such an African sensation. He is the first Ghana YouTuber to eat over 1 million subscribers. If that is not massive. The whole country, in the whole, in the whole country, the first YouTuber to hit over 1 million subscribers. Hmm. And Ghanas, they have superb, they have superb YouTubers. Example is Kwado Sheldon. They have uh, this, um, this Japanese lady. What's her name? My, my M, her name starts from M or something. They, they have this girl, I'm a governor. Then my own, my own correct Josie's corner. Don't worry, your time is coming, okay? <laughs> After completing his secondary school education in Ghana, he relocated to China to further his education. But contrary to most people believing, success on YouTube had not come overnight for him. That's just that's what I was saying. That anything you find doing, please continue doing it and be consistent. Do it well, improve, and God will just shine His glory on you like like He did to Odemaya now because He's the one we are talking about presently. So He said that. The genesis of the YouTube channel was quite by accident. I never want to be I never wanted to be a YouTuber. During vacation, I couldn't travel because I didn't have money to go back to Ghana. So we spent our times in our dorm. So a friend came to me and said, Let's go out and shoot a video. I was the main character in that short video. Afterwards, they gave me the video and I realized I didn't have a pen drive. Or anywhere to save the video so I decided to save it on the internet and that was when I saved it on YouTube ah! oh my god so you can become a millionaire by accident is that <laughs> is that what you is telling me so after what they gave me the video I realized uh -huh, something something like that the video became a sensation among his friends and based on the positive feedback actually decided to do another video detailing how he met his Chinese girlfriend he got 1,000 followers, but unfortunately, his subsequent effort didn't fare well. He did more comedic videos, and people say you are not funny. They stopped watching him, but I had passion for it, so I kept doing it. Imagine, just keep doing what you're doing. Do it smartly. But his eureka moment will come after convincing his father to let him try content creation rather than engineering so i kept pushing for two years and tried to make it work until my dad found one of my videos and got extremely mad at me that is when my mom came in and said i can do whatever i want and she will take care of my dad two weeks later my dad gave me his blessing and told me the one thing that changed came for me he said you speak chinese so why don't you use the chinese language to bridge the gap between africans and chinese people that was my breakthrough right there said achon he took his father's advice and his channel grew to hundred thousand subscribers achon has found his niche and began to slowly take off he began making videos to help the Chinese understand Africa and Africans. Imagine having an inspirational father. I think I saw one video where he was crying and uh, I saw a video that he was crying on TV, on national TV. Anytime he remembers his father, even during his sister's wedding, he was crying. And in fact, when your father is good, you don't, in fact, you don't know what you have, honestly. So, like that, like that, like I don't want this video. This video is already like 10 minutes. I, I'm, I'm sure by the time I trim it down, it will not past 10 or 8 minutes so in 2018 he made the decision to start profiling the continent of africa not only the chinese but africa at back at home and in the diaspora he received a loan from a chinese friend who booked him on a pan-african tour to five countries when i did that within a month i had 50,000 people following my channel and it had taken me four years to get to 100,000 subscribers. It showed me that a lot of people were yearning for African continent. Today, with over 1.1 million subscribers, Achon said he is raking in anywhere from, wait for it, wait for it, that's the amount is any, like from the least, 
let me just say the month that he has it bad 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 and the month that he earns most hmm, is bad 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 is twenty thousand dollars per month on his youtube channel that's adsense so from adsense not sponsorship and all that then to fifty thousand us dollars god when <laughs> but me i've not done youtube for four years or so <laughs> in fact so the youth of africa hmm most of his revenue come from youtube advertisement as well as from charging up to ten thousand dollars a prop to profile africa's entrepreneurs along the way he has also picked some invaluable pearls of wisdom hmm. hey, i had money but it was sitting in the bank and i didn't know what to do with it because our parents taught us that if you have money keep it in the bank get money buy a house buy a car and that is what i was doing until i met entrepreneurs and that was when i decided to invest in land buy excuse me buy real estate i had a team of 10 people who work for me hey 10 people team for youtuber hey oh my god his next milestone is to interview africa richest man aliko dangote look at hey hey somebody's goal should be out to interview aliko dangote which is the richest man on the continent of africa yes he also wants to channel towards push out african narratives to the world for now he certainly gets the what the world's attention then he now ended it with the caption that your favorite village boy if you just go to his instagram page you read everything your favorite village boy has been featured on forbes african match magazine what an honor what a great honor to be in the same magazine with legend my future looks exciting so help me god in fact i don't know what looks exciting more than this i want to wish with maya i am maya a very big congratulation don't let any protagonist or be antagonistic comment don't let it stop you you are made for the world you are made to fly please continue to do exploit continue to explore africa i hope to be like you when i grow up and even more and even more on this youtube street okay so if you are watching my videos to this point please give it a thumbs up give it a like subscribe to the channel turn on your bell notification and see you in my next video bye guys